This is the switch pod. Straight off the bat, you've got a nice sturdy grip here. Not on here is the switch pod. It could be good. It's just, it's way too heavy. 457 grams, heavy, expensive, why? Hello everybody, I am Jabby Kawai, and this is the selfie stick that was recommended by Camera Conspiracies, along with a, this table's not exactly as clean as it should be. He recommended a few. This was the one that seemed to appeal to me the most, so I'm gonna give this doohickey a shot, unbox it with you here. It's therapeutic for me. It's like therapy while I unbox things. Very lightweight. Without breaking it, let me test it out here. I wonder about the strength of it, because it doesn't feel very strong. What is this weighted for? It says scalable, 22 centimeters, extend. Oh, really? And that's not it. How do you, how do, you do this thing? No instructions? No instruct. okay, no instructions. This is to rotate the ball head. Do I just push it up? No. This is cool, because you can put in your microphone. I don't know how you scale this up. This is off to a great start. Oh, that is how you do it. Oh, you just pull. <laughs> you just pull it, and then you got this thing going. Let's give this a shot, shall we? What I've been rocking is this switch thingy, a Peter McKinnon recommendation. You can use it as a selfie stick, right? And then you can, wah, cool, right? Except it's got weight to it, which in my mind, intuitively, that's a good thing, because if you're holding a heavy ass A7S III with a, a wide angle lens on it, which itself is quite considerable in weight, Mm -hmm. I have no idea if I'm gonna break this damn thing. Let's find out, shall we? This is called overkill. Oh boy, that does not feel good. Let's try it like this. It's a bit wobbly. I love this thing, it's just I wouldn't trust a mirrorless. I don't know when that's gonna snap off. Okay, so I goofed. He clearly said there not to trust this selfie stick with a mirrorless camera, and that's what I was experimenting with like a dodo. I think I clicked on the wrong affiliate link in his description, but don't worry, I course correct in this video if you just stick with me. I went back to his description, I got the right selfie stick that he actually recommends, and I try it out in this video. And yes, I always wear a lapel mic while I'm video editing. This does not feel very good. Not for this camera anyway. Maybe for like an iPhone? Let's try that out, shall we? Cha-cha! I think I'm all by myself here. What we've got here is an iPhone clip. The largest iPhone known to man, the iPhone 12. Oh, that fits in nicely. It's still kind of janky. It feels a little, can you hear that? That's not inspiring confidence. I mean, yeah, it's like, look at that. I don't recommend this item. Unless you want it to look like, uh, what is the man on the moon? What was the one with um, the guy who never emotes, but he's got all the emotion inside? First man, first man, that's what it was called. Thanks, Cha Cha. First man. So what we've got here is the uh, McKinnon tripod. Oh, you're supposed to screw it from the bottom. You're supposed to screw it from the bottom. That's what she said. <laughs> now you're vlogging. This is how you do it. Everyone knows you're supposed to do it from the side. That's what she said. <laughs> this feels way more sturdy. This is much better. It's heavier, but it inspires confidence. And then when you're tired, you can just put it, I think it's pretty cool that See, just picking it up doesn't feel very nice. Gah. I like how far it extends, that's pretty cool. It's, it's from the base, that's what's shaky. One of the reasons Camera Conspiracies was recommending this, even with the DSLR situation, is that you can get more bokeh instead of having a wide angle lens up in your donut muncher. Instead of having a lens right here, which makes you look more um, kind of funny, you want something further away to give some comp compression. You're able to use a longer, a slightly longer lens, like a 24 millimeter or 20. You get some distance between you and the camera so that you get that nice depth of field that we're all looking for. Well, overkill vloggers are looking for. And you see you and you don't look weird. Like weird, you know? In theory, this is cool. Like this would be great, but this is not a musical instrument and it's not a selfie stick that's reliable. Affiliate links down below. I just fired 64 members of our research and development team because they didn't tell me that I made a mistake. He had a lot of affiliate links in his description and so I got very confused as to which one was which. It's a simple mistake anybody could make, especially a professional YouTuber. So I went ahead and bought this right here. The Nebula by Anchor. This is the ultimate. I'm gonna test this out to see if it is indeed as good as he says it is. That does feel solid. Is it, okay. Last time I just pushed it up. Do I unscrew something? Lefty loosey, righty tighty, right? There we go. Okay, so that's how you get tripod mode. I'm already having a questionable situation here. It does stand a good, what? Two, one and a half, I can't measure, but I think about a foot and a half. 
put that there for now. Casey was demonstrating it in his video. He made it look like this thing here could hold a mirrorless camera. I'm not overly impressed with this. On a platform of some kind that's not gonna be moving a lot, it should be okay. It's not the most steady, but let's see where this goes. Turn this thing on. Oh God, why did that happen? Let me lock it in place. Let me try doing a selfie mode here. Loosen that. Let me pull these legs in. I think Casey is right and wrong at the same time. This gives you nice, a nice uh, separation from you and the camera. However, I feel a lot of strain on my wrist. I feel like I have to two hand this thing. It does feel strong enough that it's not gonna just break on me, but it's not comfortable. Not like this, even though Casey was complaining about it because he said it was heavy. I feel it in my shoulder, I feel it in my wrist, especially when I angle it like that. That does not feel good. I'm already feeling it in my back. This is a Sony a7S III, which weighs one and a half pounds plus the lens itself. Let me give it a shot with the lighter lens and see how that feels, because maybe that combination is solid. With the much lighter lens, this doesn't feel too bad. I imagine that this is essentially how it would feel if you paired this 20 mil with the a7C, if you wanna use a full frame vlogging camera. It's still, I just, it does not feel great, man. I gotta say, like, I feel it really putting a lot of stress on this finger right here. I know this sounds like baby stuff, but I feel like this is the stuff that vloggers wanna know about. Like, how does it feel? How does it hurt? More than anything, how does it hurt? Maybe if I have it less distant, it won't hurt as much. So let me try compressing this a little bit. That doesn't feel as bad. This looks decent. I'm getting a nice amount of atmosphere with this uh, 18 millimeter. But like Casey said, I think that this is something that you could use with a mirrorless. I still prefer this one over this one. So it's up to you how you wanna spend your money. If you're trying to save money, I think this could work and you can just switch off. This gives you a little bit of um, latitude. I don't know. It gives you a little bit more flexibility. You could two-hand it sometimes if you feel like, like holding it like a baby. I think it's cool. I think it's a nice backup, but I wouldn't make it my primary. If you're using a smaller thing like the like the ZV-1, this is perfect. It gives you enough distance between you and the, and the front element. It doesn't feel like it's right in your, you still get some atmosphere like this. Overall, I would say this is a solid choice for most people. I think that if you have a camera which is lighter than the Sony a7S III, this will actually work really well for you. But if you're doing any overkill vlogging like myself, this is definitely not the selfie stick slash tripod for you. It is nice and compact though. That's pretty cool that you can like, Oh Lord, okay, hold on. What's the safe way to do this? Elbow on the thing, there we go. I like how much you can just break this down. It takes a little bit of, but you can really like, this is not the most fun user experience, my God, but you can really break this down and make it more manageable. So if I want to tripod this thing, if I want to tripod this thing right here, damn, how do they do that? All you gotta do, I recorded an outro just now, but I didn't like it. So here's my old one. You guys, thanks so much for uh, hanging out with me and not cha-cha, not cha-cha. Just me.